In custody. Mate, can you hear me? Yeah. Mate? Yeah. I'm from the CIB. Yeah, I understand. You understand you're under arrest? Yeah, I do. Alright, as, as an arrested person you have certain rights. Yeah, I see. Do you understand that? You have the right uh, to make a telephone call to a nominated relative or friend to inform that person of your whereabouts. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. Alright. Do you wish to contact someone? No, not just yet. Liam Humbles, aged 17 at the time of the shooting, was found guilty of murdering 18-year-old Lewis McPherson while grossly intoxicated on New Year's Eve 2012. He was also convicted of the attempted murder of Mr. McPherson's friends, Liam Trawatha and James Lamont, after firing shots at the trio as they walked to a party in Adelaide South. Disturbing footage has been released showing the moment the killer teenager was arrested for murdering an 18-year-old while high on drink and drugs. In a rare move, the judge in the case in Adelaide, Australia, allowed Humbles to be named and ordered the release of the police video. So who, who can I get, like an adult, to come and sit with you? I only got an adult to sit with you. I ain't got an adult to sit with you. Mum, she's downstairs. I'll text and I'll text you back. You had a bit to drink today? No, uh, that's probably a reason. All right. Now, you understand why you've been arrested? Yeah, I do. All right. We believe that uh, you've caused an injury to someone with a firearm. Do you understand that? No, I don't. I'll let you know that's a serious mm -hmm. offence. No. All right. So we'll try and get hold of a solicitor for you, OK? And again, everything's been recorded. You don't have to say anything at all, no. OK? All right. At an earlier hearing, Lewis McPherson's friends, who wore yellow ties throughout the case in his memory, described his final moments. Mr. Lamont said he saw blood on Lewis's shirt. I rushed to his side and held him in my arms and tried to keep him from choking on his blood, because he was losing blood. As he lay dying, Humble said, if you don't stop being dead, I'm going to make you really dead. Humbles had been to a different house party the night of Lewis's death, but was upset following an argument. It was put to me that your reason for possessing a firearm was that you had it for protection against bullying. Such a reason does not bear close scrutiny, Justice David said. The concept that a young person might think they have to carry a weapon with them for self-protection is appalling, frightening, and has no place in our society. Lewis's father Mark said he would never forgive Humbles adding, his lack of contrition is disturbing and hurtful. I just don't know what goes on inside his head. Mr. Tiller Griffin, the housemate of teen killer Liam Humbles, has told the coroner he knew his mate had a gun but didn't care if he shot someone. John Tilly Griffin was in Warradale Street when his mate Liam Humbles gunned down the 18-year-old. He's now admitted he knew for six months the violent drug dealer had a gun but wasn't worried. Besides my own friends and family, I couldn't care less. He'd only use it against someone who needed it. But Humbles did use it against one of Mr Tilly Griffin's friends. John, do you care what happened to Lewis McPherson? Yeah, he was my friend. Like, for say, you guys are my friends. So he then spat on camera crews before apologising to the victim's family. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? For what happened to your son. I don't think he means it. It was obvious from what he said up there. Mr Tilly Griffin's mum, who Humbles lived with, revealed her home was often filled with drug-addled teens. She also smoked drugs. The mother of convicted killer Liam Humbles broke down while giving evidence at a coronial inquest into Lewis McPherson's death telling the court that she blames herself. Elizabeth Humbles told the court that she asked police for help with her son, who was becoming increasingly violent several times before the fatal shooting in 2012. Ms Humbles told the court that she blamed police for the events of New Year's Eve 2012, but when questioned burst into tears in the witness stand. The grounds are suspecting that you have committed the offences that you identified by witnesses as the person who um, committed the murder. The nature of the forensic procedure sought is photographs of your injuries, hand swabs, arm swabs, swabs of visible blood on your person, a blood sample for blood and alcohol concentration and prescription medication or illicit drugs. Do you understand that? 
Um, the grounds for suspecting the procedure could produce evidence of material of value to the investigation are is that it's suspected that the evidence from the forensic procedure will either negate or corroborate evidence obtained during the investigation. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do. It is necessary to obtain evidence relating to gunshot residue, contact DNA between you and the victim, uh, including blood swabs from you, and blood for toxicology, in other words, to determine what the level of alcohol or drugs that might be in your system, both illicit or prescription drugs. From Detective Brevet Sergeant Matthew Buck, I, Trevor Maxwell Lovegrove, a senior police officer, having conducted... Liam Humbles received a 23-year term, but was described as manifestly excessive and claims he was guilty only of manslaughter because he was too drunk to have intended to kill teenager Lewis McPherson, and was ruled by South Australia's Court of Criminal Appeal and setting a reduced term of 17 years.